Hey, welcome to my channel, everybody. My name is Angelo from the T-Squad family. Yes, you remember that day when we checked into Stone Mountain Campground and we forgot our level at home. Due to a house project, we had all of our levels at home and we took them out of the RV and we never put them back. Well, that day when we checked into the campground in Atlanta, Stone Mountain, check that video out if you haven't, we were backing up and when we were put in place, everybody's like, okay, get the level, let's check it out. And we did not find it. So Sandy ended up using her phone to level the RV from front to back and forward or side to side. See it? Do you can see it? Like, I think we're okay. Like, I could probably have that side go up a little bit. Yeah, go up, Richie. So this is what happens when you forget your level at home because you're doing a home project. No, this is not the way to level your rig. <laughs> it ended up working. You know... We did not realize that we had a level mate, a level mate pro in the RV already. taking it out of that RV, putting it in the new one, this one right here, I should say, not new, but we never ended up hooking it up. So today I'm gonna walk you through how I hook up my Level Mate Pro and to avoid situations in case you forget your level, you have your Level Mate Pro. So what we did, we put our Level Mate Pro right at the top of the bedroom entrance and it seems to work out good. What you need to do is you need to put it feet with the arrows facing up and they give you a diagram where you should put it either here, somewhere there, or even on the back wall back there, or even in this cabinet. We put it in the bathroom cabinet before right there, but we decided to move it. Go wings and put it right there. You'll go to your level mate pro on your app search it level make pro this may be a later version that i have but this is the updated version but that still works so what you can do is just i will go ahead and download it it'll take a few minutes all right so we are going to go ahead and open it so it says level mate pro would like to use bluetooth i you have to i mean that's the only way they'll know so what you could do here is you could say allow using app while using app, I should say, allow while using app. I do it because I just downloaded this app. I turned the, okay, so see where it says connection unsuccessful. So what we're gonna do, go to the Level Mate Pro, turn it off, turn it off for a second, and then go ahead and turn it on. Yes, this is it. So now you'll see how, you'll start getting the questions and what you want to do, you want to answer. So it's just going to basically tell you the Level Mate Pro temperature. You can see the current temperature of the Level Mate Pro here. Okay, and then it'll just say how bad or how bad or good your battery is, and change any settings in the configured in the setup wizard above. Okay, so we know that. If you ever need help with the Level Mate Pro, you can find a user's manuals. That's pretty cool. Okay, and now the section displays the level your bat. It's telling you the bottom is for the vehicle front to back, and the top is from the right to left. And then uh, we will go on from there. So high pitch position. I do not like doing that. I will leave that alone. So basically that high pitch position is where your pitch is last used. Since we, we are multiple positions all the time, we don't like to do it. This is pretty cool. It does have the uh, option to connect to your iWatch. Um, I don't have an iWatch. I don't wear an iWatch, so I'm just going to skip that. All right, and you could always do it later. Now, if you look at this app, it tells you we are 2.25 inches low on the right side, and of course, the front is low. Now, I wanna back up and I wanna show you what the Level, Level Mate Pro does to the RV as we back up. All right, so I have the app open right here, and you're gonna see it actually on the screen here. I'm gonna full screen it. Okay, so as we back up, the Level Mate Pro is trying to locate 
the device, I'm sorry, the app is trying to locate the device inside the RV. It did locate it. So I'm about a few feet where I want to end or stop my vehicle, my RV. So I'm going to stop right there. So my phone is telling me that I am low on the right side, which is the passenger side, by two inches, okay? So what we're going to do is I have a set of Anderson levelers, what I'm going to put under the two tires on the right side, which is the passenger side, and we are going to back up on the levelers to make it level, the RV, and we are going to be able to tell by the app when I need to stop. This is the set of Anderson levelers that I have. This goes perfect with leveling, and it starts off with a half inch, and it goes all the way to, I believe, four inches. So this is basically can be on any RV site, any campsite, not just because I'm on pavement. You still need to level your RV. So getting back to what I was talking about is I am low on this end. So what I'm gonna do is, these are called Anderson levelers. You've probably seen them before. These are pretty a pretty awesome thing to have if you're a new RVer or a veteran RVer. So us, we are kind of new, so we love using these Anderson levelers. So this is how we use them. So basically we wanna go up. So we are gonna put one Anderson leveler here. And I like these because they actually fit in between the tires. So you're gonna put another one right there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to back up and we are going to level the RV raising this end up. Okay, so we are now back in the truck. We just put the levelers, the Anderson levelers under the tires. We are going to back up and this is how the Ander I'm sorry, this is how the Level Mate Pro will work when you're using the Anderson levelers. All right. Let's do it. I am on the Anderson levelers right now, and I'm gonna go pretty slow. Now look at that, look at that. Oh, do I wanna go a little bit more? Ooh, that's it, right, right there. We're gonna wait till the vehicle stops shaking. Once I put it in park, I'm gonna put my emergency brake, cause you know how when you let go of the, you put it in park, you go down a little bit. We're gonna put the emergency brake to eliminate that a little. We are perfect. Yes. I love these these levelers. It is always nice to have somebody next to you to make sure you do not fall over the Anderson levelers. This is basically how it looks. This is how low, this is probably the max I would ever go using these. But there it is. Completely level with the Level Mate Pro. The Anderson levelers come with these right here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put that right there so this way it does not slide back and forth. Put that right under there like that. That's how those should look. Right there. All right, talking about the Level Mate Pro. I like it. I really like it. You don't have to get back out of your car, put the level, get back in your car. I love the level, the Anderson levelers as well because that'll dis, it allows you to just go ahead and back up on the first try as you see. So the Hensley Hitch does come with these chocks and what I like to do is before I disconnect my vehicle at all from the RV, I like to put them in between the tires. Put it in between like that and they carry this little tool that's pretty cool. I like to tighten it by hand just so it can just stay right there and I like to put it in the center of the tire where the curve goes. And we're gonna put it in tight mode. And we're just gonna tighten like this. Maybe one more, and that's it. I like to leave this tool right where it is so I don't lose this. If you do take it out, 
go ahead and put it inside your compartment so this way you don't lose it. So this allows it not to sway back and forth on the Andersons. Go ahead and tighten it one more time. Done. I know this is probably a basic uh, setup that you guys do, but this is for people that uh, are new to RVing or even just want an extra pointer or an extra confirmation that, hey, we do the same thing, that is awesome. So it's nice because we are securing the RV tires with multiple options uh, from the chucks in the middle, the ones you adjust, to the chucks that go behind the tires. One of the best hitches you can have if you are white knuckling it down the road, this is the, this is the hitch to have. So at this point, I'm going to detach the RV from the, the truck. I do have a Hensley, so if you'd like to know how to detach this from the truck, go ahead and check out my other videos out. It's a Hensley video, I got multiple ones, and it'll show you how to detach or attach, or even attach on a slope, or detach on a slope. I did mention we're Amazon affiliates, so anything you click in our video description below, we do get a share, a commission share. It's not much, but it helps the channel continue to do videos like this. So thank you that for doing that. All right, so it says that we need to go up on the hitch. Instead of you watching me disconnecting, I'm gonna disconnect real quick. So now that you're detached from the RV, what you wanna do is grab your phone. If you want, this is the time to go ahead and set your hitch position under set. This time, now you wanna go ahead and set your position where the hitch once was. This way, when you back up, you can press recall and it'll tell you where the hitch needs to be uh, in order to connect to your vehicle. Uh, so at this point, if you want, go ahead and connect set. I will do that and it'll say set hitch position. Position. I will say yes. So this is where exactly where I will need to be if I wanna hook up when I'm de departing the campsite. I wanna go and s go up and down on the hitch until I reach the recall, uh, until I reach the appropriate height. And how to do that is you'll press recall and it'll tell you where to go. See how it's zero right now? Uh, that's exactly, or not, it's adjusting, but it's okay because I'm leaning on it, but that's exactly where uh, you would want to go. So here we are. It says here that we need to go up five inches as soon as it connects. It says we need to go up five and a quarter inches. I don't know if you can see that. I'll go ahead and record it on the phone. I'm going to raise the RV according to the Level Mate Pro. So we're raising, we're at four and three quarters, four and a half, four and 2.25. So we got four inches left, three inches left. I'm sorry, three inches left now. We're gonna keep going until it says zero. My phone fell. A little bit more. Whoa. We are good. Eight. Front to back is zero, zero. We are good. So there you have it everybody, the Level Mate Pro goes hand in hand with the Anderson Levelers. I stand by it. We do have both of those in the description below. Please click on one of those links and it'll bring you to our uh, our store or better yet, it'll. It, we are also affiliate with Amazon so anything you purchase in those links, uh, we do get slight commission. Not much, but it is enough to keep this channel going and we do appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great camping season.